Hello everyone and welcome to the WoW Weekly News, where we cover all your nerdy needs around the World Wide Web. Well, EA's at it again. EA states SimCity's offline mode didn't fit their vision. Well, I hope Microsoft and Sony learns from EA's mistakes before they launch their new console. This week's top news, Nintendo has been found guilty in a patent infringement lawsuit related to its 3DS. A federal jury on Wednesday has awarded the former longtime Sony inventor Sejiro Tomoda $30.2 million in compensatory damage. Grats to Kelrick for being featured by WoW Insider. Her guides are the best and it's about time for her to be recognized. Francis has a new skit called Bronies. It's for men who love My Little Ponies. Come on, we all know you are a brony too. Head on over to Francis and check out this video. This week on Ass Hogger. If you didn't get your question asked by Hogger, here's another chance. Head on over to Patrick J's channel and try your chance on another question. This week, StarCraft II launched Heart of the Swarm. It basically focuses a story on Sarah Carrigan and her quest to reunite the Swarm and exact revenge. In our PvP corner, we have Swifty to show you all how to PvP as Protspec. If you're a fan of DC Nation and Clone Wars, like I am, it's a sad day. They shut down productions on Clone Wars, Green Lantern, and Young Justice. I myself was a huge fan of Green Lantern and Young Justice, and I'm really shocked to hearing that they will not continue the new season. This week on Nerds on TV, Kick-Ass 2. The costume high schooler, known as Kick-Ass, joins a group of normal citizens who have been inspired to fight crime in costumes. Jim Carrey takes the role of the unhinged cry fighter as Colonel Stars and Stripes. Rumor has it that he just takes the show. This week's new game releases are Resident Evil 6. The story is told from the perspective of Chris Redfield. Also, Walking Dead Survival Instincts acts as a prequel to the TV series. It is set in Georgia countryside and focuses on Daryl and Merle as they make their way to Atlanta in the early days of the zombie apocalypse. Last. Gears of War Judgment takes place 14 years before the original Gears of War and is just the seminal event of Gears Universe, Emergency Day. This week on Tor's Anime Corner, this week anime highlights Kaze no Stigma. This anime stars Kazuma and he's a contractor of the wind, which basically means he controls the wind and powers of the wind. And he's also shunned by his family, which are all fire users, so he's the black sheep of the family. The basic story outlines of a group named Pandemonium has unleashed the evil power of magic to junkies and soul devouring demons. So basically anyone who is power hungry can receive the power of magic on the unsuspecting citizens of Tokyo. To save the world and lock down the realm of magic once and for all, Kazuma and Ayano must join forces in this red hot series that deserves a place in your anime library which I will be getting soon. This week's on Smurfs Freebie Shack. It's Drakensang, a Diablo-style game that is browser-based and requires no installation. Oh, and the best part, it's free. Head on over to Smurfs channel to get more information on how to obtain this free game. This week's App of the Week is one of my favorite games. It's called Plague Inc. Your job is to make a plague that will wipe out the entire world. How do you do that? Well, it's up to you. You can add points to make it spread much faster, or just kill on the spot. The choice is up to you. This great game is only 99 cents on the Apple Market and free on Android. Damn you, Android people. We have a new segment this week. Take it away, Helvanus. Hey, I'm Helvanus here with... You know what grinds my gears? You know what grinds my gears? Battleground noobs. Yeah, you! I'm talking to you. You're coming to my war song, Gulch. You have no idea what you're doing. You grab the flag and you start running around going, What do I do next? You, my friend, are an idiot. This week's Together to the Top goes to a great PvPer. Not only does he PvP, but he also does footage on Call of Duty. <laughs> Duty. This week's Together to the Top goes out to Mr. Liquid Glass, an up-and-coming YouTuber with a lot of potential. If you'd like to be highlighted in future episodes of Together to the Top, please send me an email. Note that you need to have some content to be eligible. Have a great week, everyone.